A squint is a misalignment of the eyes, and it's extremely common in childhood. I see many children every week with a squint. It can be something that your child is born with, or it can be something that develops in their childhood. Sometimes it can be because your child needs glasses. Sometimes it can be a more unusual disorder, but it's really important that you see somebody who is experienced, confident, and gets your child on board with the examination and the treatment of the condition. Parents come to me and say how anxious they are that they've noted that their child has a squint. Their concerns are completely understandable. You know, first and foremost, will my child, does my child have normal vision? Secondly, is this going to impact my child's development? How is it going to affect their social interactions, how they play with other children at school, how they learn, how they, will it impact their futures? For instance, their choice of job. There's also the key issue of, is there something else going on with my child? Are they well? And it's, it's, I think it's crucial that you see somebody who understands how you as a parent feels, and also that most children who have a squint, particularly at a young age, aren't bothered by it. They don't understand why they're seeing somebody. So everything that you do really has to be with the intention of the child thinking that they're playing or that they're having almost fun with the examination. One of the things that makes parents very anxious is actually what's going to happen to their child once they come to see a healthcare professional and an eye doctor. The big elephant in the room for all children is, am I going to have eye drops? And that, you know, that's quite an uncomfortable thing for them and it makes parents very anxious. So I think it's very important that they see somebody or a team, because it's always a team who looks after a child, who are confident, comfortable and can really engage with your child. The first thing that happens is you'll come and you'll see an orthoptist. An orthoptist is a highly trained professional in the assessment of children's vision and also in characterising their squint. Then we do have to instil some drops, but there are techniques to do that that make it much less distressing for your child and actually the discomfort's over very quickly. I think a key thing that children pick up on is whether their parents are anxious when this happens. And if they're in an environment that makes everybody feel comfortable, it's just so much more of a pleasant experience. And then, once the drops have had a bit of time to work, we'll meet, we will discuss what your concerns are, what's happened, when you notice the squint, how your child is. And then I, that gives us a little bit of time to meet your child, develop a rapport, and then we'll examine them. And actually, if you're very experienced at doing this, often you can make it a game. And that's much more successful. So I see lots of parents who've been perhaps seeing other people who aren't as experienced in dealing with children. It might not even have been an eye doctor. And things may have been found or issues with the vision or a squint. And actually the child comes in and in a much more relaxed environment, they can perform in a much more confident way and things are much better than you first envisaged. Other times we might need to start some treatment. And that's usually very straightforward. So the first thing we think about is when your child has a squint is does your child need to wear some glasses? And for some children that's all the treatment they might need. The glasses may relax the eyes out and, and support the, develop, the visual development of your child. For other children that may not be quite enough in itself or it may not even be necessary. And then it's a question of discussing in a calm environment somewhere that you feel confident and, and secure about where we go from here and the treatment options. So sometimes that might involve a surgery. And again, I've, one thing that I've found is that parents feel much more anxious about agreeing or deciding about a surgery for their child than they would for themselves. Because people, it's a big responsibility to your child and you don't want them in the future to come back and say, why did you do this? So it's really important that we discuss the options and that parents feel confident and comfortable. But actually, for the vast majority of people, the surgery is very straightforward undertaking. Um, although I think it's very important that you see somebody who's very experienced and confident in, in the management of it. In, kind, in terms of the technical aspects of the surgery, it is done under a general anaesthetic, but it's a short anaesthetic. It usually takes about an hour. And the vast majority of children, particularly those that are very young, have no recollection of it. And actually, I see a lot of adults, even with squints, who perhaps have had them treated in childhood. And the vast majority of them will have somewhere in the dim and distant past been told that they had a squint surgery, but they really may not even remember which eye it affected.